All right, so today I'm going to show you about fussy searching and what is fussy. All right, here I have my friend Donut. I'm going to go inside Donut. And fussy searching is basically when you press tab, you can just type whatever. And Houdini is going to try to make sense of whatever you're typing. So if I want to put, let's say, I'm going to just say polyvevel, I just type three letters. You can see I type PVE. And Houdini just bring me poly bevel. I didn't have to type poly and then bevel. If I want to do poly extrude, PX, poly extrude. That's simple and fast. So this is pretty cool. You should use fussy searching. Uh, let's say I'm going to extrude this faces here. PX, PEX, and extruding. Yay. Yeah. P E V, I mean P B E, polyvevel, non beveling. That's simple, right? So instead of just trying to type the full name of whatever you're trying to find, just let's say B for box or B X for box, and maybe you would find it. Just try to find your combinations, and Houdini will try to make the best of whatever you type and you will try to find your tools. All right, and that is fussy session. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I set up my groups up to have automatic naming. So let's see, let's go inside Roberto here. This is my friend Roberto. So let's say I'm gonna group the, the legs. So I'm gonna set up to to select and just double click on the legs shift double click shift double click now let's put a groups up and you can see i have this fancy expression here if i change the name of this legs you can see now i have a group called legs here so it's taking the name of the group from the name of the node so i like to use this op name expression some people like to use, let me put another group node here. Some people like to use the $OS expression, which also gets the name of the node. Let's plug Roberto here. And you can see, let me call this legs as well, legs1. You can see here, this is my issue with $OS. It doesn't update immediately when, once you, you rename the group. It takes a while it kind of needs to recook to change the name. And that's why I don't use $OS. If you can see with this OP name or operator name, Lex is there. If I change this to Roberto Lex, you can see once I press enter, this changes. And that's what I like. So what I do in my group swap to have this automatically, by default, this is when you change this to defaults, let me revert this to defaults. It's just group one. So I create a group node here connected to nothing. And I just put the expression here, backtick up name and open a parenthesis. Just put one dot to refer to this node and close the backtick here. Once I have this set there, to have this available when whenever I create a group swap, I just go here to this gear icon here and say, save permanent defaults. This will save it to your user uh, directory. So it does, it's not going to mess with Houdini or anything. It's okay. So just do that. And now if I go here, now I want to group all the body of Roberto here, create a group, drop it. You can see if I put body here, now I have a body and Roberto legs and I want to call it Roberto body group. It updates immediately. So that's how I do my groups.